Hello, hello everyone. My name is Linda Gunnell. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Perfection Creations. Linda's Perfection Creations is an event planning and wedding decor company. We cater to small and large events in and around the Philadelphia area. We do full service, partial, month of coordinations. We do custom events. We do destination weddings. Pretty much anything that need planning and decor, we handle it all. We I have many, many years in the wedding industry. I have a master certified wedding planner degree and I'm also a certified florist. Um, so today we're just going to continue um, the end of what we talk about, some of the decor things that you need for your wedding. We talk about the ceremony, we talk about the cocktail hour, we talk about the reception space. Um, now we're going to talk about the things that you're going to need for your table setup, the things that all the things that you need to remember. And then after that, we're going to run it up. Just give you a little inch. I'm in, like, I'm on high spirit today. I know I should be tired, but I'm not. I guess it's all the coffee today. Um, I have a wedding coming. Like, every time the day before the wedding, it's like, I guess, on these highs. It's like, I get excited, and then it's, like, a tire, and, but it's, it's going to be great. So, yesterday we talked about, um, for the lamps, we talked about 10, using 10 for outdoor. We talked about... The dance floor monogram. We'll talk about hanky installations, backdrop, the bar, your wedding hashtag and signage. You know, like if you're doing any wedding, you want to do the hashtag on your tables everywhere so people can see what it is. The cake, the cake topper, and so on and so forth. So today we're going to talk about a table decor checklist. I know I'm really hyped today. <laughs> Uh, I'm really happy. So I'm, um, you know, there's a lot of things in the work for me, and I'm really excited. It's like I've got a really great news before I came here, so I am pumped. All right. Um, so your table linens. Um, most of the times, venue provided table linens. Um, if they are a full service venue, um, that handle. If you don't want to use the venues, you can choose to rent your linens. Um, you can do. There's some beautiful beautiful places but the thing about most if you're planning your wedding yourself most companies that do lenders do not run to you know just customers they rent to vendors so those are the part of you know the good things about having a, a event a wedding planner who have access to get you discount price and things like that you can buy if you want some people buy it but i i say it's a waste of money honestly because what's the chances of you actually using that again some people say oh i can rent it okay if you buy and rent it out to people, how many times people are actually going to use that color that you're using? So it's always best to go to use a vendor, but most 99% of the time, I would say most 100% of the time, if you are using a venue that full service catering, they provide those landings. If you are using a ballroom or a hall, the wedding planner that sometimes they have access to renting these things for you, and you can do that as well. And then the chairs. Most venue also comes with chairs and tables. But if you want to get the shivari chairs and all the other extra chairs, sometimes some ballroom has it, some ballroom doesn't. And you can also go again renting. You can rent it yourself, but when, like I said, most vendors usually rent from wedding planner and uh, and the vendors, business to business. So they do business to business versus just consumer to business. So those are the options you can look around to see what option you have. So once again, always a benefit of using a planner or using a, a wedding specialist. And then your place cards. Um, that if you're using a place card for the guests, like I said, place card is different from the S card. Place card is actually seated on the table. It let everybody know where they are going to sit on that table. S card just tell you where your table is. Place cards it actually place the customer person on that table. Say, hey, y'all want you to sit in this chair. I want you to sit in another chair. So you gotta have it, and they know your. And then from there, just letting your signage, any signage letting the guests know where to go. You want to let people know where to go. Because you think about it, it's 100 plus people, uh, even if it's 50 people. People, you don't want people in the wedding just confused. So you have to direct people on what it is to make everything smooth and easy for them. And also, your drinkware. All of these things, you don't have to worry about them. Oh, it's slid in the, the place card. You don't have to worry about them if you are using a full like a hotel or fancy ballroom or vendor who caters who have indoor catering. If you are using outside caterer, they should have that. That's something they should have. Make sure they are full service caterer. That's don't quote me wrong. If they are full service caterer, they do have that. But if you just hire somebody from moms and pops, they're not gonna have those things for you. 
but so if you hire a full service caterer they should provide your napkins your lenses your glass and the glassware and everything like that so your glassware your water glass your wine glass your goblet glass all of those things should be provided for you or if you are getting you know plaques to wear you can do that as well and then your dinner menu you know you can have create these little nice dinner menu you can get it from canva you can get it from vista print you can get it from shutterfly you can get it from a lot of places you can have this and you can even create it on your own computer where you can have your menu cards and everything just it's just like another step up just something to just set your event just make your wedding like a little different from everybody or something other than all. and there's a lot of great unique design that you can do for that as well table numbers very important because if you are telling guests where to sit, they need to know where to go. I right, said so in one, two, ten, whatever your table number is, you need to have a table numbers on the table so that guests know exactly the game where to sit. Those are things that is very crucial because it's the one to set the tone for your tables. You can get these things on Amazon. You can get them anywhere if you buy. You can get them from Etsy. You can get it from different places. So you have a lot of options with stuff like that. Centerpieces. That's my thing. Okay, I'm just saying. So your centerpiece is, is your flowers, your decor. If you're using candles and everything, that this thing that's gonna sit in the center of the table, the beauty, the one that gives the glance and the ah, the everything that I'm just the everything. So for fresh flowers, I love me some fresh flowers. The smell, get the aroma, it just changed the room. But if you are using artificial, it's fine as well. I personally, when I'm using artificial for client, I use like candles to kind of make the sense a little bit, just to get it going. So those are your flowers. If you're having the florist do it, if you are doing it yourself, having family member do it, you're going to need beautiful centerpieces for your table. If you're not a flower person, you can use lanterns, you can use candles, you can substitute a lot of pictures. You can do a lot of things to make that whole thing come into your table, come into one. And then your chair decor for the married couple. So you're going to have tables for the setup, the couple where they're going to sit, you don't necessarily have the decorated table chair. Like I said, Miss Demish is in front of them. If you're doing a sweetheart table, you can already accentuate it. It's fine. You can do sashes, wedding sashes on all the chairs in the ballroom. You can do cover sashes on their tables. You can do flowers. You can do the names. There's a lot of option things that you can do to make your wedding day look on and beyond. But that is all for today. So. Thank you for watching, and as always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This was amazing. I'm glad I was able to talk to you guys about it. I am, if you're wondering, like, why is she so happy today? I am just like, you know, you put so much work in, and when people start seeing your work that you do, it's amazing. You know, and people start to get on your radar. Like, I... This call, I got a couple of calls within the space of this week from different different vendors and I mean venues that I never even worked with. I never even heard about and these are like, well, some I heard about, but this is like well new luxury events and it was like, you know, calling and saying, hey Linda, we see your biscuit. We just want you to keep us on our radar and I'm like, me? Little me. <laughs> you want to give you on my radar and you know for your prospective clients and get and that means a lot and that that made me happy because you know why if people are calling you without you reaching out to them your reputation precedes yourself if people want to work with you and they want you to be at these are I'm not gonna say the name for just because of it these are top top venue where celebrities and stylists and people goes to. So for you to get a call from something and say, hey, I'm so-and-so, we are from this venue and we would love for you to come and take a look at this venue and we want you to be, you know, have your future wedding here and things like that. It's a, that's a major milestone because that just showed that, you know why, I'm getting to that billions. I'm telling you, I, we, we're going to get to that bid on the dollars. We're going to get there. And no matter why, we are going to reach that. And you just got to wish for the stars. Keep doing what you're doing. You, people will see you. Let people see your work. You don't have to show people where you are. And it's crazy because I, I know how I know my business is, is painting and doing great is that I have a lot of vendors. Sometimes I call me the procurement to be clients. And I laugh about it. I'm like, okay, I know. 
And there's nothing wrong with that because people do it. Everybody do it at one point in their life, you know, to, you know, scope out the competition and things like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just so, I'm so proud and so happy that, you know, the work that me and my staff are doing as getting a recognized on multiple places and multiple venues that are, are literally like, hey, Linda, we have something coming up. We want you to be a part. We have this. And it's just exciting to hear that. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I am going back to work. Um, I have to prepare for this wedding. It's beautiful. I will show you guys um, I'll probably on my Instagram channel. You can look at my Instagram and see. I have to really try to connect this so it can be able to see things. But don't really connect the flowers so you can see. It is so beautiful. The colors for this wedding is, oh my God, it's beautiful. But thank you and have an amazing day.